Hello, I'd like to talk about Mythbuntu 7.10. This is just going to be a short overview, show you what Myth TV does for you. Some of you are probably already familiar with Myth TV, so we'll go through that fairly quick. And then uh, some of the great benefits that I've noticed under Mythbuntu, uh, the actual the Ubuntu version of Myth TV. It's a pre-built distribution. Uh, this is the main myth menu for Myth TV. Uh, when I boot up my PC, this is the first thing that comes up. If I go into Watch TV, it pulls up my uh, ATSC tuner, my high definition tuner. This is pulling television over the air. I can tune back and forth between different high definition stations. Uh, I can also go into a program guide like you would have with any DVR uh, hardware solution. And uh, we can pause live TV, uh, fast forward, rewind, uh, do anything else that you might be able to do with a normal DVR. Uh, when we escape out of there, we'll find that the next option is a media library. This allows us to view recordings that we've already made. Uh, here's a recording of CSI. This is a high definition recording. Notice there's no stuttering, no problem with the playback whatsoever. Works just fine. Um, same here, we can pause it and uh, not have any problems. One of the really great things I like about Myth TV is it has some fantastic software set up for commercial skip. Uh, we just go in here and turn auto skip on. The next time we run into a commercial, it'll just jump forward. Uh, the next thing is we have watch videos. This is the video library. Uh, we can keep track of any number of videos in here and it works just like a uh, DVD jukebox. Uh, you put the videos in here and just hit enter and they play. Uh, Dolby Digital Surround Sound, uh, the Myth TV PC I have set up is actually configured with an optical cable to provide the digital surround to the receiver. Uh, we also have listen to music, pretty much exactly what you'd think it is. It's a music player. It'll play MP3s that you have saved on the hard drive. Uh, you can play online streams, image gallery. One of the great things about Myth TV uh, that I think is makes it very easy to use and such a great solution is uh, this setup panel right here. Uh, this is uh, pre-configured with a lot of the roles, uh, a lot of the things that we need to configure in Myth TV and much of the setup was done right in this panel uh, once I had the operating system installed. Uh, the Myth TV setup is another application that comes up. Uh, this panel is your gateway to that. It allows you to configure the tuner cards uh, and set up the database so that you can record uh, your TV, TV programs and keep the data about them. Uh, this is applications and plugins. It allows you to select which media player you want to use and what plugins you want to use. Um, I have Myth DVD installed, which allows me to play back DVDs, uh, Myth Gallery, Myth Music, uh, Myth Video, and um, Myth stream to stream uh, audio off the internet. Uh, if you wanted to add like Myth Game, which is uh, MAME configured for Myth, uh, you just check the box, hit apply, and it's in there. Uh, here's your driver manager. This handles all your restricted drivers. And if you have some problems setting up your X windows for your particular monitor or TV, uh, right here you can launch uh, the configuration manager for the xorg.config file. Remote control configuration is set here. Uh, this allows us to enable some services like VNC, SSH, Samba. In order to do remote administration of the Myth TV box and it also allows us to uh, serve this information that's recorded on this PC to other Myth TV PCs in the home. Uh, there's also a network login behavior, this is the login behavior it tells the PC to go ahead and start up Myth TV immediately when the PC is rebooted. Uh, we have proprietary codecs. This allows us to install the uh, 
the Win64 codex, the Lib DVD, CSS2 uh, watch DVDs under Linux, and the, that was just a click of the button and hit apply. And then finally, some uh, other features and management options that are available, for example, defragmenting the storage uh, directory or optimizing the database on a daily basis that can all be configured from here. And this one panel pretty much does it all for you and uh, once you have all your configuration set up uh, all you need to do is go in and watch some TV. Alright well I'd like to thank you for your time. Uh, this software is available at uh, mythbuntu.org that's M-Y-T-H-B-U-N-T-U dot org uh, you can also learn more about Myth TV at mythtv.org. And again, thank you for your time.